Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Dave Knittle, and I'm the founder of Fan Futsal. We wanted to put together a quick tutorial video for you to show you some of the basic features of using Fan Futsal. We're on a desktop computer right now, but mobile functions more or less the same way, so everything we show you here is going to be pretty much the same on mobile. So we're on the lobby page right now, and this is where you, you can see and enter all of the games eligible for you on Fan Futsal. You can see the league that's involved, the country of origin of that particular league, the game name, the number of users in that particular game, as well as the number of users eligible to enter that game. So right now there's one user out of 20. The entry Fan Futsal currency cost to you to enter that game, so everything here is 10 FFC. The prize structure, so 50% means the top 50% of users in that particular game will get awarded fan futsal currency, as well as the start time and date of that particular game. Let's go ahead and enter the weekend EPL game for this weekend. So when we click on that, we brought, we're brought to the game lobby page, or the game lineup selection page, excuse me. On this page, clubs are listed in descending order based on their salary. You can see the your budget, so if $200,000 is every person's starting budget, and the number of clubs currently on your team. In addition to that, you can see the per game stats of all the clubs available for your selection. Let's go ahead and make our selections right now, keeping in mind maybe a formation and positions that we want to line these teams up in our fan futsal lineup. So I've gone through and I've made my selection at this point for the upcoming game. Now we're going to go over to the My Squad tab and this is where you set your positions for the clubs in your lineup. Before we get into that, I just want to point out this game lobby button right now is a darker shade of green and it can't be clicked. That means your lineup isn't completely set yet. And once we set our lineup correctly, you'll notice that changes color and is able to be clicked. The first thing you want to do is pick a formation for your clubs. The formations with only one defender in the back, so they begin with a one, are a little bit more offensive focused. And the ones with two or three defenders in the back tend to be a little bit more defensive focused. So with the clubs that are selected this particular week, I'm feeling more offensive. So I'm going to go ahead and make my selections based on the clubs that I've selected and how I think they'll do this weekend against their particular opponents. And once we make our final selection, you'll notice the game lobby button is still that darker shade of green. It's going to change to a brighter shade of green and now be eligible to be clicked. Once that happens, we know our lineup has saved. We can double check that by clicking here and making sure that all of the clubs are listed in the correct positions. Once that happens, you can wait for the games to take place this upcoming weekend and follow along. We have a ton of other really cool, interesting features on the site. On the lobby page, you'll also no notice the pick em matches feature where you can predict what you think is going to happen in any particular match. It costs 100 FFC to make a prediction, but you get 300 FFC if you predict correctly. And we have a number of other features. You can build out your My Profile page where you would like to share information about yourself, maybe some of your favorite clubs or leagues. And you can check your My Entries page where you have all of the competition history of all the games you've played on and how you've done in each of those games. And a number of other features. We highly recommend, recommend you, you click around the site and check everything out. We have a ton of new interesting features coming soon, so definitely stay tuned to everything. I hope to see you on the site uh, in, in games very soon. My username is, is dkinitz11. Look for me on the site, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.